This time on Weekend Rental, we play Team Buddies for PlayStation 1, a strategy slash party game with some deep, deep mechanics. Before we get to our views, we'll check out some gameplay. The ever-present fear of war. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> this music, though. I've never seen anything like that before, have you? Yeah, they're just speaking Italian. What is that? What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter now. He's, he's gone. Okay. Oh, okay, the, oh, the mini map is in the middle. All right, all right, all right. Why can he? I don't understand. This is deathmatch. Oh. Punch yeah, I get it, but like, wh death. Where, where are the weapons? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta kill. Oh, oh. oh, is that what it is? Maybe just circle with it. No, you press, press circle. It. If you press circle, it makes the image. Okay. Okay. Right. Makes the image. <laughs> it makes the image. You have hope that when I die. Oh, can you pull up I that tower? Smoking pair of boots. <laughs> Lock the yeah, tower. Totally. Good way to go. Boom. My Boom. Bazooka <laughs> might be OP. <laughs> <laughs> Music's pretty good. Yeah, it's very Euro. Very Europe Europe Never died. Europe never died. I think you can destroy their houses too. Houses. Oh. How? Make them funny. Oh, 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 Damn. Is that? Oh. Wait, here's a ghost. I always like to be on the winning side. One. One, one kill. Everyone else killed themselves. One. Oh, and here's the key to the weapons here. Oh shit! Yeah, totally. Nice. Oh, how to build them? Oh. Yeah. What this karate? Oh, he's trapped. Oh, oh, hey. oh. oh, maybe it's falling apart though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a blue box. Back. Big build. Come on. <laughs> uh, I won't let you activate someone else's stock. Yeah, stock. I want to steal it. <laughs> no, don't kill me. You <laughs> <laughs> That is you really good. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. I want to make the top level item. I want to see if he can blow up these locked houses. What is this about? Yeah, why is Team Buddies not letting us have fun? More like trouble. You have to spend Corey. more time by yourself before you can have fun with your friends. <laughs> you have to you have to play single player a bunch and get unreasonably good at it, and then have people over who don't know what they're oh, doing, and then you just and steamroll them. them. Yeah, how yeah. to put in the work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That sounds like real life, really. You have yeah. to work on yourself oh before you can have friends. Guys. Yeah, in real life. You right now. That sucks. Oh. Wow. Oh. I came so far. Oh, man. <laughs> Me and my buddies really wanted that, that tank. That tank is good. sick. Ah, <laughs> oh, it squished oh. me again. Sorry. <laughs> you gotta destroy their little tower. You know what I mean? Like each team has their own like tower. Yeah, yeah you gotta go like it. shoot it and blow the boxes everywhere. Oh. Probably a good strat. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you press oh, triangle. Is really triangle. Bad. You can Triangle swaps a new buddy. another buddy. Ah, uh, yeah. with different mind. life and everything. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Game is deep. This game is deep. Each team has a tower that you're supposed to destroy to win. Oh, okay. But how? Oh, I'm green. Get out of here. You look out of my friend, I'll smash you face in. Every time I switch worlds, it's playing a uh, little cinematic. This one's cat. Oh, that guy's an <laughs> asshole. Yeah. I hope something bad happens to him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Disproportionate. <laughs> whoa. Murdered that a cat bur and a bee? Yeah. And a bee. And a bee. <laughs> kill bees. Yeah. Island farmers. I mean, you that cats are invasive, I yeah, guess. Yeah, you can kill a cat. This stage is huge. It's a chocolate. It's very big and confusing. There's a different song as well, that's nice. What is this weapon? Oh, Jesus. 
Oh, there's a big box? He's teleporting. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Too fucking sick! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, whoa, wait, wait, wait! Rain down. Fucking get the place of snow on it. <laughs> Oh, I got a plane. Oh, you can, how do you fly this? Go off. They just get a plane. <laughs> I don't understand how to fly it at all. Kind of. <laughs> Leave the map. Can you fly it? Is this actually controllable? Or is, okay, yeah, I see. Yeah. It's really slow. Especially the way, like, what is it called? What is it called? Walk, walk <laughs> At this point in the game, I can't hear, I can't discern any sounds. Like, I hear a lot of noise, but I don't know what. Crunchy Atari phone. Cool. Um, so, yeah, let's see. We played Team Buddies for PS1 this week. It's from Psygnosis. Uh, uh, it is um, parental guidance warning rated. It's got foul language. But uh, we're going to start it off with a, a group of folks, squad on time, and um, I'll have you all, I guess, say your handles as, as you start off before giving your review. All right, that sounds that sounds good to me, Filter. I guess I'll start things off as the host over here. It is an unprecedented night, and we're doing weekend rental from Diamond Times House this week. Uh, and we've got a couple of, couple of people over here. So I'll start. Uh, time on time, that's me. Uh, this game, definite buy. As a matter of fact, I think I can speak for all of us over here at my house and say, <laughs> sorry, I just saw you edit the it's good. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, unanimous buy over here. Um, very strange game, I liked it a lot. We spent a lot of time, I feel like more time than we spent playing, we spent trying to figure things out. But for me, that was an exciting process. Uh, definitely buy it and play it again and again. Unlock all the stuff and play with your friend. Hi, this is Neosense here. Um, this game's about, it's about buddies. Uh, it's about having buddies, uh, working with buddies. And frankly, this game is a bag of holding. It's bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. And it's a total buy for me. Super fun, uh, but puzzling in a wonderful way. Well, what about you, Push? This is Pushy Pete. And I felt that it was very strange how much this game gated its multiplayer features, which were quite excellent behind a single player campaign that you need to either cheat or manually complete um, in order to unlock things like more than one map for multiplayer. But the multiplayer is excellent and I just had a lot of fun. It's fun to watch. Momo is next. I thought this game was cool. I thought, but as a uh... You know, another renter pointed out the sheer effort to unlock all the multiplayer is insane and unnecessary and a product of its time, which I feel like a great deal of this game was. Um, I genuinely think it's a cool idea and like very advanced for when it came out. Uh, but the character designs, there's nothing really to say about them. They're a combo of like tech deck dude and crazy boss or something um i think this game is pretty fun with you know people who also like weird ass games and stuff like this because there's definitely some strategy involved and i think the concept is cool and surprisingly deep um it just lost the window what do you what, what about you filter how what what did you think about this game yeah, um, I agree with most of this. So like, I thought it was a really cool concept and definitely a technical feat for PS1. It's graphically impressive that they could pull off split screen like that uh, and then have it run at a pretty stable frame rate. Um, you know, they had simplistic, colorful graphics that, you know, didn't really wow you, but it's delightful to look at. Um, the controls and like how you actually play the game, obviously we didn't play single player. So there's a lot of like, 
learning on the fly and uncovering stuff, maybe it would have walked us through it, but there's not really like a tutorial that we saw to like get the new players in. That would be nice. I think, you know, if, if this got revisited, that'd be really cool. One of the things they could add to it. Um, controls, I gotta give like a, a bad mark to. They're, they're kind of, um, I don't know if it's because it's 3D or like once we were getting the ships unlocked and stuff like that, it kind of fall, it starts to fall apart there. But like when you're walking around, pretty okay. Um, overall, I, I think it's, it's kind of average, like some of its parts is, you know, not that great, but it's very unique and very interesting. Definitely worth checking out for PS1. I gave it a rent. Um, I think the main thing is uh, how how gated it is with the, with the multiplayer stuff. If you could get a save file with everything unlocked and then just go through multiplayer and try out all the modes and all the different items, um, I think it'd be a, like a rich experience to enjoy that way, but unfortunately the way it's structured, it's harder to do that. Um, yeah, I would recommend checking it out. What about you, Mega Man Man? What did you think? Thanks, Filter. Yeah, I thought uh, as, as far as a rich experience goes, to, to get this game, you'd have to be rich. It's, it's $300 on eBay right now, but I think it's worth it. Totally worth every penny you could throw at this game. Another one of those games that just didn't look like it was going to be much at first. Not really impressive. Uh, even the first round or two was just a confusing mess until, you know, you actually get into the bones of the game here. Uh, even after three or four rounds, we were still finding out new stuff. And once we started cheating our way through unlocking things, you know, the gameplay just got more and more crazy with more maps and more weapons and more uh, everything. I can kind of see where they were going with this. You know, you couldn't connect your PlayStation 1 to the internet as easily as you could to, to buy all of the multiplayer content like your people are used to these days. So yeah, you, you actually had to go uh, sift through the deep metaphors that this game is bringing you through its single player campaign. Uh, and then and then you're rewarded. You're rewarded handsomely with beautiful beautiful weapons and uh tanks and <laughs> all sorts of good stuff uh yeah graphics were nice did like it it's it's pretty good for the ps1 controls mostly good you're right until you get into the tanks on the planes they control like tanks and planes sound was pretty fun um though not as great as the gameplay overall uh, overall yeah i think it's worth it it's a good time to have <laughs> 